In my last video I talked about Sweden, Turkey, Finland and the NATO negotiation where Sweden and Finland were about to sell out the Kurds in their countries and especially PKK in order to become members of the NATO alliance. Now it has happened. When we look at Sweden, it seems like Sweden and Turkey have agreed on a deal which sells out Kurds, PKK and gives Sweden the opportunity to be voted into a NATO membership. Sweden does all this to not give in to Putin in Russia but are ready to give in to Erdogan in Turkey. I ask you Sweden, what is the difference? What's going on right now will harm the Kurds. The same Kurds that just recently defeated ISIS. That all of West just recently praised for their battles against ISIS. This is a Facebook post by Anne Linde from 2019. Sweden is deeply grateful for the sacrifices that Kurds and minorities in the region have done in the battle against ISIS both in forms of sacrificed lives and through humanitarian suffering. This is what I told Ilham Ahmed from Syrian Democratic Council SDC, which is the civilian part of the Kurd dominating administration which controls northeastern Syria. We met in Stockholm to talk about Turkey's military offensive. Sweden condemns the Turkish attack on northeastern Syria and have during this Monday talked about a common weapon embargo from the European Union countries against Turkey. Kurdish efforts against ISIS and to stop terrorist spread in the region has been very central. They have taken a great responsibility and it is important that they now get the world's support. This is what Anne Linde wrote on Facebook, the same woman that together with the Prime Minister in Sweden, Magdalena Andersson, have taken Erdogan's hand and coming up with a deal which removes the Turkish embargo, which means that Sweden will actively work against the Kurdish PKK and YPG uh, movement in Sweden and which means that several people just recently about 17 was mentioned will be transferred to Turkey to be left for their destiny in Turkey. Shortly after this meeting Magdalena Andersson went out in media and said that if you are not a terrorist you don't need to be worried but remember this Magdalena Turkey and Erdogan sees all Kurds as terrorists Turkey sees me as a terrorist, he sees all my family as a terrorist, he sees every Kurd as a terrorist, no matter what they work with, what they do, what their political view is. So, all 100,000 Kurds in Sweden and those Kurds that are in Finland should be worried about what's about to come, because nobody is safe as long as this deal exists. I never thought I was going to say this, but because this is threatening towards my people in Kurdistan and towards democracy here in Sweden, I will say it. A vote on the Social Democrats in Sweden is a vote on Erdogan. Kurds in Sweden and Finland, remember to vote right.